Let us continue with fever in COVID. There are three causes of fever in COVID. The first cause is viremia. This is probably the sole cause of fever in the first week. The greater the viremia, the longer will be the fever and the higher will be the gradual escalation of fever. The second cause of fever is the hyperimmune response or the inflammatory response that the virus causes even while the virus is going away from the body. This response typically occurs after 7 or 10 days of the illness. This hyperimmune response can cause a very high grade fever. However, remember that most patients who are into that response are already receiving steroids and therefore the fever can be artificially blunted by steroid therapy within the hospital. The third cause of fever is secondary bacterial infection. Most of these infections occur in the hospital. There are two causes of secondary bacterial infection. One is the a nosocomial infection in an admitted patient. And second is a, a infection occurring due to steroid therapy, uh, which of course is given in hypoxic patients of COVID. Another important feature related to fever is that many patients in the initial phase especially have profuse sweating with the fever, not just due to paracetamol and defervescence related to paracetamol, even those who are not given paracetamol can get significant sweating. So that is one question I definitely ask each patient of fever. Are you sweating unusually a lot? Because in malaria, because the fever is high and the defervescence causes profuse sweating, we can understand that high fever has come down. But here, even low fever is followed by uh, profuse sweating. So this is the second part of fever. And next, we'll discuss more about symptomatology of COVID and the telephonic interview with the COVID patient tomorrow. Thank you so much.